I'd like to call the Ordinance Committee meeting for Tuesday, September 15, 2015, uh, 9.30. Uh, I'd like to call it to order. Uh, item number two is attendance. Councillor Vice Chair Katarina is here. Councillor Blaze is here. Tom Hall, Town Manager, is here. And Tracy is here. Item number three, approval of minutes of July 21st. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Okay. Item number four, discussion on fireworks. Okay. So, um... I'll, go, I'll do a quick little introduction, and then um, if, I don't know which one of you wants to go first. doesn't really matter. Um, so this came up in about, uh, I think I believe it was last year, um, we were approached by a couple of residents who had some concerns about um, fireworks going off, uh, not uh, in the ordinance. They were not, it was not being, they were going off outside of what our ordinance covered. So that was like the major concern. And then the other concern was they didn't feel as though the ordinance was um, strong enough uh, to prevent uh, fires, to prevent, um, you know, accidents, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Um, when I looked at some of the emails that I got, most of the things I was seeing were, were mostly um, enforcement issues. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think they were necessarily ordinance issues, per se. Um, I, going through this, and I've gone through this multiple times now, um, and reading some of the emails that I've gotten, I don't know, I don't see a lot here that we could really toy with or that would make it beneficial to even send it to council. I don't know. I'm definitely willing to hear um, what you guys have to say. Um, I, I, I do want to say that I, we, we all recognize, I, at least I, I believe that we do, I know we do, we all recognize the PTSD people that we've talked to. Um, we all recognize the, um, the beach people and the issues that they have. Um, but I don't know what we would do to make this better. The only thought that I had, and this is the only thought I had, was July 4th. And that was it. Um, oh, yeah, changing right, the date. Right. So all the other dates and times and all the other craziness, we get rid of. Um, that was the only thought I had. Um, you mean only allow it on July 4th? Right. But that was just a thought. That was the only thing well, that... Well, there's only three days that we do allow it, right? Right. Uh, well, we Four. July 4th, Five. July 3rd, December 31st, 31st, 31st June, January 1st. What's the 5th? And the fifth. Oh, July third through July fifth. Right, three to five. Predominantly, five days. Yeah. Predominantly, it's two days. I mean, uh, though that five are allowed, I think the concentration is the July fourth, and, and uh, to a lesser extent, uh, New Year's. Right. But when I looked at, you know, the information that we got from the PD, right, and the information that we got from the people that did um, respond to us, it really seemed like there wasn't a lot we could do outside of of really encouraging people that if they're having a major issue, it's an enforcement it's an enforcement issue that needs to be reported to the PD. I don't I personally don't know if we have enough um, data to support making any changes to this ordinance. Yeah, Anybody I, I, else? Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, I would I would agree. Um, I, is I think I've made it weird to anybody and everybody. I was never in favor of the fireworks to begin with. No. So, I mean, I, I would go on record with that. But at this point, you know, we only allow them for the five days. I think we're going to get into another whole brouhaha over mm. not much. Uh, to be honest with you, uh, and I would favor just leaving it alone. Again, encouraging people to call um, mm -hmm. the police department. Like I do, <laughs> if I've got a neighbor, I have a neighbor who likes to shoot them off when he's not supposed to, mm -hmm. um, and leave it alone at this point because mm -hmm. I haven't heard any overwhelming uh, mm -hmm. the uproar one, about the, the one thing I kept getting was that they were going off at Memorial Park, Tom, and that is not. Yeah, I, I should relate. Uh, there's a phenomenon that's occurred really in the last year or so. Uh, some of those are done lawfully. Mm -hmm. they, um, what's what's happening is. Um, is a way around those five days for consumer mm -hmm. fireworks. Mm -hmm. uh, private right. weddings, parties, or corporate events will hire a commercial pyrotechnic professional. They're sh actually shooting consumer grade. It's not, um, they, uh, but they, but by virtue of using a commercial right. entity, 
they're able to do it around their event. Right. Um, so it's quite possible what people are hearing is a permitted lawful mm -hmm. event through this kind of um, side maneuver, if you will. So it's an issue the chief and I have been talking about. We don't. It's not to the point that we think it needs any okay. attention, but we're going to monitor it. Um, but is that done on town property? Uh, I don't believe so. No. I mean, Isn't we do Winterfest and Summerfest. Mm -hmm. well, she's talking about fireworks going off down here, Memorial Park. Well, we sanction two events a year, Winterfest and Summerfest. So outside of that, uh, if it's going off on public property, it's, it, that's not lawful. The biggest complaint I got was from a woman. I think I forwarded you her email. It was really quite long and extensive. And um, I guess what bothered me was she was one of the ones that said, you know, we're we're thinking about not even coming up until after the 4th oh, of right. July because right, right. we're point. right. We're so close to Memorial Park and they're going off and it's it's loud, it's dangerous, it's after hours. Um, but I I was under the impression that on the 4th of July are those surrounding dates that they're not allowed at Memorial Park. You mean the Hurt no, Park? No, there's a, there's an outright prohibition on all Memorial public Memorial Park. There's an outright prohibition. Uh, 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 on any public property. Right. Okay. Right. And there was a concern about that parking lot at Pine Point this oh, year. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. Which is the person that complained see. called the police and the police <coughs> told them that it was legal. The dispatcher. Yeah. That's and that was right. There was some misinformation, supposedly. Yeah. supposedly. Supposedly. But there have been three or four occasions, uh, Town and Country Federal Credit Union yes. had a corporate right. event, kind of a groundbreaking right. thing. There's yep. been a number of private weddings that sure. have, have done this. So some of what <coughs> may be reported to you is a lawful event, uh, but it's outside of the time, and so people are kind of surprised by it. I think this was Fourth of July. Yes. Yes. That there okay. were people down in the parking lot yeah. shooting yeah. off yes. private well, fireworks. Yeah. And Late at but, night. But yeah. they're down yeah. on the beaches. Right. Yeah. And that's illegal, uh, too. Right. Right. Um, Mm -hmm. Tom, those private events um, that the town agrees to let happen, like say the town and country event and things like that, is the is the dispatchers at the PD aware that those are are going yeah, on? Yeah, I'll, I'll confirm, they're but I'm cool. sure there's an internal protocol. Uh, there's a local. You know what I'm saying? Like oh, that no, way. No. There's a local and state permit required. Right. Uh, and then I think I'll make certain there's internal notifications so dispatch is aware. Uh, that so would be when the good. call comes in, they have the right information. Right. I just think I think that is could potentially be part of the problem, like the like the thing that was happening down at Pine Point. If the dispatcher had the correct information, she could have dispatched the police officer to go down there. But since she said that that was allowed, which it's not, mm. that created and that created quite an issue. Mm -hmm. So some of this again could be right. lack it's of communication. Information. Communication. Right. Um, I, I'm still. I still am not comfortable with the beach issue. Um, I well, I'm not either, but, uh, but I, 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 know. I, I believe that nothing is going to be done until there's a fire. I think yeah. you're right. Eventually, there's going to be a fire. Yeah, I think that's the only way we're going to get yeah. support. Yeah. I'm not condoning it, but I would just observe, and Ed, you could attest to this, you live close enough to the beach that before consumer fireworks were allowed in Maine, just, what, three years ago, mm -hmm. there's historically been fireworks set mm -hmm. off on the beach. Again, we're not condoning right. it, but it's a fact of life. Yep. Uh, right. And nothing this council is going to do is going to stop that necessarily. Right. That's the truth. Right. And so personally, I think even Until though... something bad happens. Yeah, I think even though we all have certain parts of this that we're sort right. of not happy with or hung up on, Just leave it. I don't think we're going to be able to do anything outside of that at this point. Right. That would be mine. And I appreciate the the, um, the fact that you guys looked into it. Yes. There's one thing that's got to be done, though, and we can't have another instance of what happened at Hurt Park. Right. Oh, yeah. Where, where somebody calls the police and the police say, oh, it's all right to do it down there. That's I what mean, I just said to Tom. That's totally unacceptable. Right. Yeah, that's what I just said to Tom, is it's yeah, okay. vital that okay. those okay. dispatchers yeah. know, know the rules. The rules. They could have sent a PD, PD down there, and it would have been resolved. And another thing is, for those five days a year, I believe that there's got to be at least one more officer on duty, or maybe even two. Mm -hmm. The 4th of July, definitely. Two. Oh, 4th of July, yeah. Mm -hmm. Two or three, Crazy. maybe more. I couldn't believe it when I was down at Higgins Beach. It's the first time I've been down there, 4th of July, and I'm like... Yeah, you said it was intense. <laughs> like a war zone. It was amazing. It was like a war zone. Yeah, it was amazing. 
Um, Could someone, I may have it and I just can't find it, but uh, that particular event you're talking about at Hurt Park, if you could just forward me that email. Just I, I don't have it. the Herd Park email. I have the one okay. that happened with Memorial uh, Park. I thought I, I sent it to you, but I may have. I'm just trying to scan. I believe that I've got the series of emails. I may. That'd be great. Just so I can use that as a, I go back yeah. as a specific because example. The, the woman called me up. Oh, okay. And then she sent me emails. Okay, I have an email from uh, Donna Zamrin. And, uh, it's pretty long, right? Extensive. Yeah. Like she bullet points stuff and. And uh, Kathy, I don't know her last name. Kathy's the one that called me. Okay. Well, and I can just use that as a specific issue to bring up with uh, with the dispatch. Yeah. As an example. I'll send it to you. Have it. Yep. That'd be great. Yep. You know, and I think, quite frankly, I mean, it's like we've talked about numerous times. We we need to start slow, um, and try to work with dispatch and the PD to make sure that everyone's aware of what can and cannot happen according to the ordinance on those days. And then if that doesn't work, then we might have to revisit this again in another two years or another year. And then we have to be more aggressive at that time, sure. you know. But let's always start, you know, conservatively sure. and then go from there sure. is my mm -hmm. opinion. You I agree. You agree with that? Okay. Yep. You guys have any, either one of you have anything else you want to say on the matter? No. No. Sure. No. All righty. Okay. So item number, oh, I want to, uh, item number five is adjournment, but before we do that, before anyone makes a motion on that, I want to say two things. One, um, there is no meeting in October. Okay. Um, I'm going to be out, right. so I'm not gonna, we're not going to be able to have that. Um, and then November's meeting will be scheduled after elections. Um, because right. there's always changes, and it may not be me sitting in this chair. It could be somebody else. You know, we no. don't know. We have no idea. So um, that that ordinance meeting for November will be scheduled after elections. Um, obviously, Tom knows if anything comes up between now and then, that's critical. Right. We can always pull this team back together right. um, if something desperately needs to get sent to the council and it needs to be done in a correct fashion, yeah. we can always pull something together. Yeah, I'm not aware of anything yeah. that rise to that level, but I certainly right. if something does come up, we'll that reconvene. We can handle it. Yeah, and before I made that decision, I did consult with Tom to make sure that there wasn't yeah. anything on the books yeah. um, that really needed our attention at this time. So, are you okay with that? Sure. Okay, so item number five. Oh, you, Tom. No, I was just going to say, I, I do observe that there's one member of the public here. Did yeah. you want to simply uh, open up for public comment? Just a little question. Is yeah. there? Could you take the podium Go and ahead. introduce and can you just state where you're from? Oh, we know where you're from, but <laughs> some people don't. My name is Jeff Graham. I'm the manager of Phantom Fireworks over in Cabela Center. Uh, is there a system set up, excuse my ignorance if I'm wrong on this, um, that the local town people can get the permit signed for a shoot in certain areas for consumer legal? Uh, it could be revenue for the town. It could be regulated. I um, believe it's done only in the, uh, uh, in the event that there's a uh, professional commercial pyrotechnics a right. person doing the shooting. I mean, I've been through other states and towns. Um, they do local permits. You know, if they can be signed and done, the fire marshal could be made revenue for the town, everything else. You could run and look at it for the date and event and say, this is safe, this is done. Um, it can be controlled, it can be done, and it's safe, and it's the correct way to do things. It's something the town needs to look into instead of isolated incidents, you know. Someone says they're doing whatever. It's so the people that are trying to do the right thing may do the right thing. Are you saying outside of the dates that we allow? That is correct. For people to be able to apply for fireworks. Or legal shoot permit. To go off. Um, they already do that. Well, we sort of do that. I mean, they have to be, like Tom said. They'd have to pay a, a, someone to come in and shoot for them right now. I think you're suggesting. Well, consumer that legal is, yeah, you don't have to have a professional license. But well, as you've just heard. Um, we I wouldn't think, have that happen. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not interested. In it's something as a as a business owner. If someone asks, I could say talk to the township, go look your cer look for certain yeah. permits and all. I'm it's not, something I'm that it could be helped to help yeah. the I'm customers and you guys in the future. Yeah. I'm not looking to open up more fireworks. To be no. honest with you, so, I'm, with all due respect. I, I, no, it's I'm understandable. Not but you're you. saying these are incidents. I mean, yes. you're saying how can we stop this? You're yeah. literally saying no, how do no. we stop this? This yeah. is how we do it. We have permits set aside that people can be looked at, it could be revenue for the town. Yeah. Again, it is the right way to do that. Yeah. Are you, are you saying that 
regardless of who you are, if you have fireworks, you have to get a permit to set them off? If you're doing an event, as he said before, thing, township, wedding, somewhere. Five allowed dates, I think is what you're suggesting. Outside no, it's in the five allowed, outside those five allowed dates or whatever. I mean, if it's, like I said, it could be permitted. It could be regulated. It could be revenue. Right, I understand that. I, 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 I never speak for my fellow counselors. I always, people probably roll their eyes because I say that so much. But I can pretty much guarantee that that will not have council support. Um, okay. That, that we're, we're going to open up fireworks to other days of the year. Um, I mean, we were actually potentially looking at shortening um, how many days fireworks are going to be let off. I don't think we're going to open it up to let fireworks go off outside of that. But I completely understand what you're saying. Do you want to weigh, weigh in on that? I wouldn't be in favor of it. Yeah, I don't, I don't think so. Jeanery? No, I wouldn't be in favor of that either. Okay. I think what we have but is I, sufficient that, yeah. that cause yeah. if people are doing a wedding or whatever and they want fireworks, they know through their wedding planners or these, that they you, can right, get yeah. hire someone professional to do them. So. Apply for a permit. That's that. exactly yeah, it. Too. It's the same aspect, the fire, too. They have to hire yeah. someone to shoot it. So I think Correct. we control the, those instances by virtue of it's an extra right. cost. Okay. And allow us, to, we're certainly going to monitor that. Yeah. If it becomes more prevalent, yeah. we may want to revisit that. Yeah. And I'm not, like what I said earlier, this is not, you know, in my opinion, just because we look at something once, it's never a dead deal to me. So yeah. this has not been passed on to council. So that gives us some extra wiggle room. So if we, in a year, something changes or two years something changes, we can always bring this back and adjust it. This is still a very new ordinance for Scarborough. Um, it's not that old. Uh, the only reason it was brought forth in the first place is because we got some really intense citizen comments, and I don't. I'm a proponent of making sure that if a citizen asks me to help with a situation, I'm going to look into it. And I know that these these other councilors are the same way. So that's why this was brought to our table. Okay. Um, so at this point, we don't have anything to pass on, and we're not going to change anything. Excellent. But thank you. Okay. I really thank you guys. It. Actually, thank you for still having us around. <laughs> Good. 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 Yeah. All right. So, um, item number five, adjournment. Do I have a motion? Move to adjourn. Second. All those in favor? That's a vote. Great. Thanks, guys. Thank you much.